Hello and welcome to Agile Tech Channel. My name is Christian Drieling. I'm Senior Systems Engineer at Agile Technology. And in this video, I want to show you how to work with views in our Universal Management Suite. What are we going to see in this video? First, I will show you how to create views based on the asset information of our thin clients. Then I will show you how to change existing views. And as a last step, how to export them to work with the views in other systems. For this video, I prepared a few thin clients in our demo environment. You can easily do this on your own. Right click thin clients and create a new thin client. It has not to be an existing thin client and for our test and demonstration here it's fully enough to just create some testing clients that are not existing. If you're creating a structure and sorting all the thin clients into departments, countries, whatever, and you want to have a list of all clients with a specific firmware version, an IP address range, whatever, you can imagine that it's not easy to do this in the structure. So that's why we created the point views. With views we are able to get a request to the database and get a list back with all the clients that we are asking for. To create a new view just right click view and click new view. Here we can give the view a name for example, I want to have all clients from a specific IP range. I will call it IP and then the net that I want to have. Of course, you can give a good description. In this case, it's easy to understand what the view will create. And if we click next, we see all the criterion that we can use for creating a view. In my case, I will use the last known IP address and specify the IP range I want to see in this case is this and now I can click finish and it will get a list of all clients that have a last known IP address of the area that we have specified in the view. We will see a lot of information about the clients. We can specify what information do we want to see. For example, boot time doesn't matter in this case. And that's how we can easily create a list of all clients. Sometimes it's not as easy as just specifying an IP address range. Maybe we want to specify some more. Maybe we are preparing a firmware update and we want to have all clients from a specific IP address range with a specific firmware version. So I will create a new view. And in this case, I will call it IP address and firmware 5. 07. So the first what I will do is again creating a view based on the IP address. I will take another one, seven, two, sixteen, oh, two, five, four. And now I will not click finish. I will say, okay, I want a narrow search criterion that will make the list of clients smaller. You also can create an additional search criterion and then you will get a bigger list of clients. And in this, I will say, okay, I know the firmware version I want to see. It has to be 507 and if the client has this IP firmware version and the IP address from the range, that's a list of clients I want to see. And here we see we get a list of thin clients with an IP address of the range and with the correct firmware version. Maybe we want to have a view with all clients that are fine for us. So maybe IP address range in this area. They have firmware version 508 and they are clients from, from directors. Because 
if they are in the range and have the firmware 5 or 8, everything is fine. In other cases, I have to update them. But the directors, I don't want to update without talk to them. So I will create a view based on the last known IP address. Then I will just narrow it with the firmware version 5.0.8 or above. And I will create an additional search criterion that says, OK, if in the comment section there is director, it should also be in this list. If I now click Finish, and we get a list of all clients that have 508.100, or if there are director clients, they will also be in this list. Now you see how you can combine different things in different views. Maybe you want to change a view. It's really easy. You can just double click the view and then you get all things that we have specified in the view. And Maybe I want to change the IP address here to 10.0.0.1 and 10 zero zero two five and I will change the name here also click OK and then it's changed and now you see we get the clients from the other range. So how to work with our views. In the next videos you will see how we can use the views in our management server. In this video I will just show you how to export a view can go on a view and if everything is all right and you want to have the list here, you can just right click it and say save as. Here you can choose if it should be an XML file, HTML or a CSV for example. I will call it list of clients.csv and save it. Now I have a list here and I will open it with a WordPad. And you see all the information are here. The MAC address, the name of the client, the comment, the IP address, all the stuff. And this is how you can work with lists of clients in other systems. So, thanks for your attention. If you have any questions to the topic we have seen today, feel free to call our pre-sales support or take a look to Agile eDocs. Have a nice day.